Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which finds sum of nodes on the longest path from root to a leaf node. First, let us take an example. For the input 4, 2, 1 and 6 is the longest root to leaf path and the sum will be 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 6 that is 13. Now let us see the approach. We recursively find the length and sum of nodes of each root to leaf path and accordingly update the maximum sum. Now let us see the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We pass the root node which is 4 to sum of longest leaf to path util function. Next since root is not null. We take two integers max sum initialized to int min and max len initialized to zero. Now we call the sum of longest root to leaf path function with root zero to sum zero to len and max len and max sum passed as parameters. Now in the sum of longest root to leaf path function we check if root is null. As it is not we recur for the left subtree. So we pass the left child of 4, sum plus 4, len plus 1 to sum of longest root to leaf path using a call stack. Again as root is not null, we pass the left child of 2 which is null. Now as root points to null, the if condition gets satisfied and we check if max len is less than len. As it is true, we set max len to len and max sum to sum. After that, we return to the previous call. Now we pass the right child of 2 which is 1. So root will point to 1. Again as root is not null, we pass the left child of 1 which is null. So root will point to null. Now as root points to null, the if condition gets satisfied and we check if max len is less than len. As it is true. We set max len to len and max sum to sum. Then we return to the previous call. Now we pass the right child of 1 which is null. As root is null, the if condition gets satisfied and now as max len is not less than len, we go to the else if part and check if max len is equal to len and max sum is less than sum. The first part is true but max sum is not less than sum. So the else if part is not satisfied and we return to the previous call. Execution for root 1 is over. Also execution for root 2 is over. Execution for root 4 is resumed and now we pass the right child of 4 which is 5. As root is not null we pass the left child of 5 which is null. Now as root points to null, the if condition gets satisfied and we check if max len is less than len. As it is false, we go to the else if part and that isn't satisfied as well. So we return to the previous call. The same goes for the right child of 5 and we finish execution for root 5. Execution for root 4 is also over and we have the final max sum and max len. Now let us have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of n complexity. Here n are the number of nodes in the tree. With this we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.